Welcome to 50 Minute Theatre, the only review show that squeezes a whole production into 900 seconds. The date is Tuesday the 3rd of September 2019, and we've just been to see The Worst Witch. Open the house. Victoria. Hello, James. How are you? Oh, why can't I not extend your name? Jim Bob Blah Blah Blah. That's that works. Uh, I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Yeah, I'm very good. Happy yeah. autumn. Happy autumn. Mm, happy autumn. I love autumn. I love autumn, but I don't really feel like we've had a summer. So well, we've had loads of summer. Mm. Anyway, enough. I'm done with the summer. I'm okay, all about fine. the autumn. Okay, great. Talking of autumn, we went to see a kind of autumnal play. Yes. Um, shall I tell you what we went to see? Please, because I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> we went to see The Worst Witch. Um, I'll give you a little fact file about it, if that's okay. I wish you would. It's adapted from uh, the eight, or, well, probably one of the books, or two of the books, but yep. the author, Jill Murphy, uh, directed by Teresa Heskins, or Hoskins. <laughs> <laughs> Every week, James writes down well, the I names, and then he can't read his own writing. Uh, the movement was by Be- Beverly Norris Edwards. Well done. Shout out to Norris there. Yep, hello Norris. Des- designer Simon Draw. Yep. And um, I'm going to tell you the notable actors now. Should I I'm... say that Norris is a friend of ours from university? No, don't say that. Okay, fine. Just yeah. ignore that. Yeah, please do. Okay, so uh, here's the cast. Ethel was played, up, played by Rosie Abraham. Mildred, Daniel Bird, Danielle Bird. Miss Bat, the musician, Molly Grace Cutler. Fenella, Meg Forgan. Miss you Hart can't Drew, even read it when it's printed Rachel on the screen. Rachel Heaton, <laughs> Maud Rebecca Killick, Drusilla Emma Lau, Miss Drill, Megan Lay Mason, Agatha, Polly Lister. <laughs> I don't understand. Well, I do understand. Um, Griselda Lauren Redding and Enid Consuela Roll. Okay. Top top work. <laughs> <laughs> It's running until the 8th of September 2019, and it's about two hours and five minutes or so. Yes. Oh, I'm exhausted. Can you give me the synopsis, Vicky, please? Uh, the synopsis is, um, Mildred Hubble uh, arrives at uh, an academy for witches, and she thought she was actually going to normal school, and she shouldn't really be there. Um, and she starts the witch lessons, but she's a bit rubbish at them. Um, and uh, some things happen. The plot thickens. There's a dastardly plot. Okay, so disclaimer here. Yeah. We're, we are fans of the 1980s made-for-TV film. Yeah. Starring Tim Curry and that woman from the that girl from the craft. Oh, Feruza. <laughs> Bye. 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 Yeah. 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 That, now that, you yeah, see yeah, how yeah. it is. <laughs> um, and we've we kind of. Watch it more or less every year, don't we, around Halloween? Yeah. It's kind of a thing for us. I mean, it's not aged well, but we still like it. <laughs> not at all. So I went with kind of, not not quite sure, obviously, we're, we're post-Harry Potter era and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I thought it was brilliant. It was brilliant. It, it was real light relief, wasn't it? Yeah. It was on the money. I'm yeah. going to say that phrase. The yeah. script, perfect. Yeah. I think what they did really well is at the start they said oh this we're going to um, perform a play for you that one of our students has written so because they did it in the context of they were putting on a play it was very clever in that they could get away with a lot of things they didn't need to use a lot of smoke and mirrors and things and they're competing with something called uh, something called something called harry potter yes we know this so instead of trying to compete with the kind of massive world that that's created yeah they they destroyed that quite early on by saying and i think was it mildred who went in and said could you tell me which one's the evil house and the head teacher went we don't have a evil house. That would be silly, dear. Yeah. Which there were a brilliant. few Harry Potter references, weren't there? Yeah, but not, not too many that it was distracted, no, but enough no. to make it its own thing. Yeah. What do you think of the staging? Well, as I said before, because they said it was a play, the staging was um, quite s- simple. They had a good um, sort of set 
which was um, basically like a metal structure and there was a, a bed on it and a, one bit that was used as an office and one bit that housed the musicians. And so it was, it was quite simple, but it was really effectively used. They didn't rely on smoke and mirrors at all, did they? I think I've already said that. Oh, yeah. did you? Yeah. <laughs> So when we saw the cats, there were obviously puppets and stuff yeah. like that. In fact, even what, at one point, um, someone made a point and said, it's a puppet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a sock or something, it's quite yeah. funny. Um, I thought the dance choreographies were good. Yeah, they were quite simple, but they were well done. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I just loved this. I loved all of it. Yeah, the music, I mean... It, there were there weren't loads of songs in it, but there were a, there were a good few songs, and they were all really good, fun. And the circle really stood out for me, and they came back to that at the end, which I thought was nice. Yeah. Um, but also, they made great use of the band. You know, they used the band were used for like incidental music at a few points. Weren't yeah, they? and the really. two main and all the band members also played parts in it as well. Uh huh. Yeah, it was yeah really good. Okay, so any stand up performances for me for you? Um. Yeah, there's one which I think you'll agree with, which is the headmistress. Yes, she is absolutely brilliant, and I really. I she also they, played her evil twin, didn't she? Yeah, I thought they were all really good. I really liked Ethel stood out for me. I, th- I really yeah, liked Ethel. She was good. Mildred was good. I thought uh, Miss Bat, who played Miss Bat the teacher and yep. one of the musicians, was very good. There wasn't a weak person in it. No, no, all lovely. Um, and also hats off to some of the performers. There was a whole. Um, bit where they were um, flying on broomsticks at Halloween, yeah, and they were up on like kind of what high wires? Would you say what would you they call it? They were like sort of almost trapezes. Yes, but there was no safety net included, or they didn't have any wires. Yeah, yeah, and that was quite, that was quite yeah, impressive. That was good, yeah, um, was there anything you didn't like? No, nothing at all. No, what didn't you like? Mm. No, I liked it all. Okay, fine then. <laughs> um. Okay, so light and special effects. Um, they didn't use a lot, did they? No, let's be honest. they didn't use a lot. There was a good bit with the set when later on uh, the s- I can't. I don't really want to spoil the plot. Well, no one's going to see it, are they? Yeah, right. There some. There was some evilness, and the set sort of all went. Yeah, and became. And I like the effect collapsed. with the mirror. Yeah, they had someone trapped in a mirror. But also, I love the technique they used. It's not really a fa- an effect, but. When they transformed people into, someone got turned into a pig, someone got turned into a snail, and they kind of basically used a little bit of costume. It was all quite simple, wasn't it? But they got away with it, because they said, this is a play we're putting on for you. Yeah. So clever. Loved it. All right, stand that moment. Oh, gosh. Oh, the evil uh, twin had a really good song that yeah. I really enjoyed. <laughs> I really like the evil twin where she did the song um, where she played both parts at the yeah, same time. Yeah, yeah. Half the costume was one, half it was the other. Yeah. Um, I love the circle. Yeah. But there's so many good bits. And I, and Ethel, looked so much about Ethel's she character. She was, was quite on the evil, wasn't she? Yeah, brilliant. Right, well, should we take a break and then we'll come back and score it? I'm sure, I'm going to eat some of these crisps you've laid oh, out yeah, for me. Oh, yeah, please do. So kind. <laughs> Okay, so I've got a little extra treat that I'm going to slide into our podcast. I am here with my very good friend, Mr. Roman. Hello. Hello, Roman. How are you? I'm great. And Roman, how old are you? I'm nine years old. And you went to see The Worst Witch yesterday? Yes. What? So, um, what did you think? I thought it was really, <laughs> I thought it was really funny. Um, it, it was a great show. Um, I like the part where they were on broomsticks and they were doing lots of acrobatics. Um, I thought I thought that 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 was really funny. And, and who was who was your favourite characters? Um. Did you like Ethel Hallow? Um. Yeah, kind of. She was. She was like like. Like, at the end of the first part, she was like, just stuff yourself with ice cream. <laughs> and walked off stage. Yeah, she was quite funny, wasn't she? I liked her a lot. What about um, the woman who played the headmistress and evil Aggie? Oh, um, um, uh, Agatha was really funny. Um, yeah. You, um, uh, where, while they were talking, Agatha and Miss Cackle, the, um, 
um, she uh, she was very she was very shouty and 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 it was. <laughs> <laughs> was it really that funny? Yes. <laughs> Very funny. Was there any, anything you didn't like? No. You liked it all? Yes. Great. Yes. And if you were going to score it out of ten, what would you give it? Uh, eight. Eight. Eight, and, eight and a half. Eight and a half out of ten. Um, are you a big Harry Potter fan? Yes. Was it, so are you now a big Worst Witch fan, or are you still firmly in the Harry Potter camp? Harry Potter. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm really glad you enjoyed it. Thanks for being on the podcast, and um, hopefully, you'll get you out seeing some more theatre soon. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Bye. <laughs>
It gets, I don't know why I'm handing it for me. It gets a star rating of 4.5, Ooh, which is a high score indeed. Okay. And it puts us, puts it a level peg in with Cypress Avenue. Which was excellent. Which C, um, on which is basically joint fifth. So that's right at the top of the leaderboard, really. That's pretty good, yeah. Really impressive stuff. Yeah. Just above All About Eve, which we loved. Yeah. Um, and just below A Very, Very Dark Matter, which again, I loved. I think you, I loved it a bit more than you. Yeah, you did love it more than me. Well, you've got bad taste. Oh, thank <laughs> goodness that was awkward, but the theatre bells were so Vic- Vicky. Yes. That means we're out of time. Well, that is a shame, isn't it? Well, I hope it's not going to be till November till we see each other again. Well, I think it's when I said October. But uh, <laughs> something will happen again. Uh, something will happen. Something will happen. Well, listen, the curtain's down, the theatre's dark, and that was 15 Minute Theatre. So, good night. Good night. <laughs>